Hello everybody. It's been a while since I made a video. I just wanted to take a break and make a tree where I didn't make any videos while I was making it. Making videos is hard for me. I'm sure some of you have noticed that. Um, but one of the folks watching named Jarrett wanted to know more about the roots so I figured I'd show you my latest thing here. I came up with a, a different type of a stand for working on the roots and basically it's some type of music stand. I believe it's a stand for drums that I uh, picked up somewhere a long time ago and just had laying around the shop and uh, I like to have a lot of things laying around that might come in handy. I guess I'm sort of a pack rat but you know you pick up stuff and all of a sudden it does come in handy but you can see what I have there that bottom plank that the tools are sitting on is just got a hole drilled in the middle and it just rests where the uh, thinner tube slides into the larger one and the neat thing about it is the tree can spin on the stand and the way that's done how I attach it to the stand we can see underneath here there's uh, some of that spectra fiber that I like to weave into the trunk of the tree um, that I use to mount the tree to things if uh, need be. comes in real handy. That spectra fiber is really strong stuff. It's really hard to cut. It's got a high abrasion resistance. But I just have a hole there and it comes out to a screw and if you wrap the Spectra fiber around the screw the right way. When you tighten up the screw, it tightens up the strand. Well, it's not, I can get it a little tighter than that where it'll actually play a note, but if you get it too tight, it's real hard to spin the tree. And then the other neat thing about this stand is this piece here that comes out, and uh, what that does is it uh, helps me get the roots real level so you know the tree's going to sit level because when you weave roots that are that dense if you uh, have a little wave in there or you get it you know some of it that's not at the right angle it's really really hard to you know pound that out of there and it just kind of skitters and moves side to side so uh, I came up with this the next time I uh, start some roots. I'm actually gonna change the shape of this a little bit. I'm gonna instead of having a straight angle like this I'm gonna do more of a circle because I like having the support here but I'd like a little bit more room so I'll probably cut a kind of a more circular half circle type of cutout rather than a V. And uh, then on to how I go about these roots. Of course when I uh, start the roots there would be the trunk would be wrapped right here and uh, once I pull it out of the jig I uh, hold it upside down by you know just pinching the trunk here and flipping it outside upside down and then I of course would add in any strands they would be added on the underneath side here and uh, there are no strands added out in the root plate here at all you know maybe if I uh, twist one of these too tight and break one I might add a strand in there but on this particular root plate I did not break any strands and another thing about roots uh, what kind of questions are you gonna ask me um, there's no jumping like I would not take a strand from this root and jump it over to that one and have another one jump back it's maybe hard to see if you go in close you can see that there's no jumping strands in the roots it just doesn't work out that way but once I get it out of the jig and I fan out all the wires into a big fan then I decide um, my groupings here if I'm gonna have the roots be a little longer over here I'm gonna have you know more strands in the main part that's pointing that way and on this one it may look like the strands are pretty much equal but they're not 
it's hard to see, but the, the root plate is a little longer over here than it is on this side. And it's a kind of a hard thing to figure out. You just kind of do it by sight. And once I get my main groupings figured out, I'll take some from uh, each side of the main groupings and I'll get these these real tight fewer count roots right in here and what that does is it makes sure is there's if you don't do that you're gonna have a, a kind of ugly looking gap here in the trunk and I want that trunk to root transition to, to look real nice and it's a real tricky thing to do so uh, in this one because I know somebody's probably gonna ask me oh by the way in this tree it's about I don't know somewhere between 324 and 350 strands I think I didn't count once again I, I just like to grab a bunch and keep loading up the jig and when when I squeeze it and it looks like I got the thickness I want for the height I want then I just stop adding so the only reason I count is because people are always asking me how many strands and this is the uh, 1.4 millimeter tipper tie aluminum because I know somebody's going to ask me that. And yes, this was double twist. Um, you can see it in there. I'm trying to get, especially on the larger trees, the single strand, it just doesn't look right in the trunk. You know, when you start getting up higher and higher in the strand count, you're making an older tree, essentially. And uh, I like to get some pattern, but not pattern in here on the trunk. And uh, this is the same frequency of twist in the double strand as that last really big tree I made except on this one um, I actually removed some of the twists while I was twisting and it. it's a hard thing to explain maybe I can show you on the next tree I do but at any rate um, so I, I get these now here's the order I go in real close here once I get these um, low strand count once again six to eight strands I used on this one all the way around some six some some eights maybe even a ten in there I'm not sure but uh, I get those and I just twist you know just a little bit of those so um, they're kind of locked in and then I bring them up and up so they're sticking way up and then I get the twist going on the main roots and I'll twist out to the first split and I'll wrap that and then I'll you know get the direction twists on those so they're up to about that first split and then I'll have the ends come up again so they're out of the way or down you know on this side and uh, I just keep kind of leapfrogging my way out work work the bigger root out a little ways and then bring the thinner roots along work the bigger root out a little ways bring the thinner roots along and these uh, main roots were wrapped with the plastic wrap all the way out to uh, probably eight after I split it either into a six and two or a four and four then I don't bother with the wrap but they were wrapped all the way to eight and then you gotta cut the wrap off kinda as you go along because once you have a root say you have a root cross over where it's wrapped it's real hard to get the wrap out of there because the smaller roots pinching on top of the big one and it's real hard to get it out so I kinda cut the wrap off as I go along so it's uh... you know that's how I do it and uh... what I'm shooting for... oh yeah in the wrap how do I get that little wrap? Um, here's probably about the smallest size wrap I use, about as you know the length of my thumbnail. And how I get that is, I have bigger rolls that I use for doing the trunk in the main branches when I'm working on the tree. And when they get thin, I will uh, cut them in half so that I have you know two rolls that are about this size and really thin because when you're wrapping these roots it's all so close you can't have a big roll you gotta have a little roll so basically once the big rolls get to the right size I just uh, 
cut them in half and know to use those in the tight spots only and that's mostly in the roots sometimes up in the branches I'll have some tight spots where I save these really tiny little rolls for you can't get them much smaller than that if you have a roll that's shorter than that it just tears too easy so I don't get them much smaller than that uh, anything oh yeah another thing about roots if you're gonna do a root plate like this um, let's see if I can get this uh, it doesn't want to focus again there you can see the tree doesn't balance on the end of the roots it actually um, what's actually supports the tree on the platform is where the roots go underneath the big main roots because if you try and balance a tree on these ends of these roots here it just doesn't work out very good it doesn't want to balance and why isn't this thing focusing again yeah I know somebody told me I should use a manual focus I tried believe me and uh, it just doesn't work I think it's because these things are so dang reflective it screws up the autofocus sometimes it works good sometimes it doesn't but um, uh, the other thing I'd like to ask there's like uh, 4,000 of subscribers on the channel Wow I never thought I'd have that many but uh, I'm gonna start another tree here soon so if you guys got any requests on things you want to go into I know Jared you want me to do the roots I'm gonna try and do better on the roots uh, next time I come upon them and does anybody else out there know of a really small camera that would focus really well close up because the the thing I'd really like to do for you but I can't because this big camera I'm using it's just too big when I'm working on my trees my face is like right up in there because uh, the way my vision is and there's just no way to get this big camera in there and uh, you know shoot while I'm working on it I need something that you know clips my glasses and or um, I was thinking of using Google Glass but I don't know they're pretty pricey I'd hate to buy a pair and find out it didn't work so if somebody knows of uh, a camera I could either clip on my glasses that's really really tiny or some pair of glasses somebody's selling that uh, would work good for that so I could shoot video and not have to worry about looking over at the screen to make sure everything's in the shot and keeping the camera focused and you know that might really help because then I could actually shoot video while I'm working which would probably come in handy for some of you but at any rate that's all I got for now hope everybody's having fun Wear safety glasses, don't poke your eye out.